We're going to turn right at the junction here and on your driving test. Now, you must make sure that we need to be make an effort at getting in the right hand turn box. We must make sure that we're parallel, allowing traffic to come through on that near side if it's available. Now, before you turn, the examiner is going to be watching for a near side mirror check for the kick out in the back of the truck. So here we go, clear. Check the mirror last before we move, make the turn. And then as we turn into the junction, we're going to go straight to the crown of the road. That's the center of the road on the right hand side. This gives us a good view, clears the corner on the near side mirror. And then oncoming traffic, so we're just going to slow down a little bit, check our mirrors, give a signal, check the mirror again, and out we go. Now we're over the crown of the road, and we have control of the road, nothing oncoming, one car behind us. And as there's now an oncoming vehicle, so we'll move back in, check the mirrors for position. The mirrors are going to tell us the position of our vehicle on the road surface. That'll make sure we're not too near the kerb and we're not encroaching on the opposite side of the road. Again, mirror check. No need for signal because it could be misunderstood as a right-hand turn signal. And as we come up here, this is where observations come in. This is a tall cross just outside of the Garrett Screen uh, test centre, uh, probably around about five minute drive away on the test route. As we approach, we come into the crown, park cars, mirror check, smooth on the brakes. Again, I'll let the oncoming vehicles come through, checking the mirrors, making sure no one's overtaking. I'm going to signal here just to tell the cars behind that I'm going to be going around a vehicle that's parked and also let the oncoming cars know if any appear that we're already manoeuvring and we're out and manoeuvring and we've got a sign on the left for low bridge. We, we cannot go, it's 11 foot 6 and we are 12 foot 2. So mirrors, signal, and we're going to turn left. Now, the examiner's not going to say anything. He's not going to ask you anything. He just expects you to react to the signs. So at the beginning of the test, when his words are, please follow the road ahead when it's safe to do so, or follow the head ahead at all times, unless road markings or road signs tell you otherwise, or I redirect you, he's expecting you to read the signage. Mirrors, signal, manoeuvre. There's plenty of room for tow both vehicles. Now, after the low bridge at Tollcross, you've got a roundabout. We'll let the uh, lady cross the road. Please don't want to rush her, so no need to rush. We'll approach over the crown of the road to get away from the near side curb, the left curb. It's clear to go in, so we'll come into the roundabout with the vehicle, take the vehicle out and away from the roundabout. Then, as we come back in, we'll steer the vehicle closer into the roundabout before using the hatchet markings and going over them a little bit that will enable the back of the vehicle to come away from the near side kerb and we clear the kerb. Check the mirrors and away we go, leaving the hazard behind. Now we've got hazards here of parked cars on both sides of the road. So again, I'm driving on the crown of the road. That helps me again with my vision ahead and around the left hand bend. Confirm my speed, only 23. The reason I'm keeping it down because I don't know what's around the bend. I've got a lot of parked cars. As we come around the bend, the examiner is more than likely at this point going to say to you, please pull over to a safe and convenient location on the near side or on the left. Now, it doesn't mean straight away, it does mean soon but not immediately because obviously you would not pull here because of all the bus stops, drop curbs, junctions. So look up ahead and you will see that after these junctions here on your right and the bollards, there's a nice stretch on the left hand side, no double yellow lines, nothing there to stop your parking. So we'll check our mirrors, signal left, gently, gently pull into that area, past the first drop curb and before the second drop curb. Using the mirrors to position the vehicle close to the curb but not touch it. Park brake goes on and then don't take your vehicle out of gear because he's only going to be there for a couple of seconds before his next instruction which will be, please follow the road ahead when it is safe to do so. Now. When he means that, it, it, we have to wait for a gap in the traffic before we put the indicator on. Otherwise, our indicator goes on straight away, the car behind us slows down, we, and we could class us as slow in the traffic. Now, I usually give it about 30 to, 40 to, 30 to 40 seconds waiting for a gap in the traffic. If there is no gap, then you can put your indicator on and ask permission to see if someone will give way to you. But you cannot do it immediately. So, this position now, 
we're ready to pull away. He's given us the, the uh, instruction to pull away when it's safe to do so. So I've checked my mirrors. There's a car's coming from the right-hand junctions at the moment, so I don't want to slow them down. So I'll sit patiently. Checking again, I'm checking both mirrors for the distance. After this one, there's a bus, so I think we can get in between the bus. There we go. Mirror, check, blind spot, check. Away we go. And we haven't upset anyone, we haven't slowed anyone down, and we're away. The vehicle that overtook us a second ago is now indicating to come in left. So they're a bit slow, so I'm gonna ease back on the, th on the, the throttle and should move a bit of brake. Mirrors, signal, and over we go. Check that little car off on the near side, make sure they haven't backed out or slipped back on us. That's a follow through mirror check. Now, the vehicle in front is slow to turn right, so all I do is check my mirrors, just a touch of brakes. I'm not gonna signal right there to pull around the parked vehicles because it misunderstood again as a right hand turn signal. I'm staying towards the crown of the road. There's nothing oncoming that can be infected there, so we're okay to just stay slightly towards the crown. At the lights, we're going to go left. So mirrors, signal left, position, crown of the road. There's plenty of room to make the turn. I don't need to dominate the lanes. Just stay in my lane, but only on the crown section of the road. And part brake goes on, position one. And all we do now is look where we're going to be driving into, which is left, see if there's any extra hazards we're driving towards. Check the position with the mirrors. Make sure there's no pedestrians, no so motorcyclists or cyclists approaching down onto our blind spots. And near side, front right, blind spot, rolling forward. Checking the near side mirror, both mirrors, but checking the near side for position, checking the right mirror for the kick out. And then out we go onto the crown of the road or towards the crown of the road. That improves our vision ahead. We're looking right in the distance where that last car's just disappearing down the hill. Check our speed, speedo is saying just below 30, the road speed limit on this road is 30 miles per hour. <clears throat> Again, I'm not gonna give a signal here because I'm only just gonna crouch onto, onto the crown of the road. Plenty of room for the oncoming vehicles. Check as we pass the near side, we'll check the vehicles to make sure we clear them okay, nobody's opened any doors. Again, quick scan up ahead and there's a set of traffic lights or pedestrian lights. They're on green at the moment. Check the speed as we come through the Gatso camera. I'm at 28 miles per hour. Again, as we approach the lights, there's nobody at the lights, so theoretically they should stay green, but I will show a bit of caution on approach just in case, and also. So I'm just easing off the gas a little bit and then check the mirrors and then back on the gas and then check the next section. We've got a set of traffic lights just gone to red. So again, no point rushing to that. So I'm coming off the gas nice and early, checking the mirrors first, nice and early. What we would like to do is keep the vehicle moving if possible. Now we are a truck, so we must remain in the left lane where available. And we're gonna to roll towards the back of the van. Keep the vehicle moving if we can. If not, we'll have to stop. And we're going to stop where we can see the tyres of the van touching the tarmac. That's TT, tyres to tarmac. Near side mirror check, front right blind spots. And away we go again. Through the lights, looking for anyone overtaking us. Because if you can see ahead, you'll see the road is actually merging together. So we're looking to see anybody who's a late overtaker. We're going to leave at least a three second gap between, between us and that white van ahead. That's why, because if he does that, we can now react by checking the mirrors, smooth on the brakes, check them again once you go back to the throttle, and away we go again. And now we can go up towards the 30, as long as we keep about a three second gap between us and the vehicle in front. And you can see the queuing, it's queuing, so there's no point getting loads of gas on, ease off the gas again, because we've got slow moving traffic up ahead. And I'm going to position slightly to the crown to view, in, improve my vision around that left hand because where I'm looking now is at past them traffic lights in the distance. And by leaving that safety margin between us and the car in front, that enables me to be able to look there and not worry too much about what's close because my peripheral vision will pick up anything that this car in front's doing, like that brake light that just flashed. Okay, so again, we want tyres to tarmac if we have to stop. Just keep it moving, check the mirrors. And when you're moving slowly like this, 
it's important to check your mirrors because you'll have cyclists coming up on the inside of the vehicle, motorcyclists coming up on the outside of the vehicle. So it's still important to monitor your mirrors. Now, at the roundabout, we're going to follow the road ahead. Normally, I would dominate the position uh, at this roundabout or at a roundabout like this, but due to the test out of Garrett's screen and this being an eight meter truck, the examiners want us to actually position left. So normal defensive position would be sent at, but we're going for a test. So we'll do what the examiners want us to do, which takes us in and around the roundabout, trying to stick as much as I can to the outside. There's a mirror break off signal. And then once we clear the roundabout, we can then put a bit of gas on and get it going again. Slow into a hazard, a roundabout or a corner, or a junction, slow in, fast out. And then as we come up the hill, it's a 30 mile an hour road, we're about 28 miles per hour currently. The learner up front, so off the gas, because we do anticipate a little bit of slow moving traffic there. The lights in the distance are on green, the pedestrian lights are on green at the moment. And break off signal in around back over to the quarter of crown and as we come through these pinch points just check your mirrors for position check your speed on the dash on the speedometer nobody's at the lights but look at the lights in the distance are stale green they may change to red on approach so off the gas in anticipation i'm covering the brake but not braking currently if they change all of a sudden at least i can stop with a reasonable amount of smooth braking they stay green check the mirrors and then back to power and as we go down the hill i need to touch a gas way to the vehicle's going to pull the vehicle down the hill we're looking again in front of the learner we're looking at the red lights the uh, bright lights on the cars up front check the mirrors for what's coming in from the left side and as you can see that's a green light again again a little bit stale so, so again on approach i'm coming going to come off the gas Cover the brake just in case. That car's cleared out in front of us, that's fine. Stayed green, check the mirrors. Back on the gas we go. Again, crown of the road. I'm looking right up to the apex, right up to the top of the hill where the bus has just come from. I'm picking up the road side to the left that says left hand lane narrows, but I think that's been lifted at the moment. Bit of a pothole there so i'm going to come crowns just to try and smooth that out be mindful of that car turning right which is gone check the mirrors again back on the gas pull us up that hill as we come over the apex of the hill we're going to go to the right crown of the road that's going to improve our vision then we've got the bright lights now on the cars but also the traffic lights at the bottom just gone to green so they've just turned by the time they get down there they're going to be red so i've come off the gas i'm going to let the weight of the vehicle come down the hill under there's no gas required just smooth on the brakes anticipate that the lights are going to go to red mirrors we're going right at the lights mirrors signal position crown into right hand turn lane nice and smooth bring her down there they go into red no big deal nice and smooth try and stop a little way in front of the stop line there we go and secure the vehicle part of brake on lock down sit check make sure no cyclists again motorcyclists that's what we're looking for or pedestrians again okay near side front right blind spot move into position for turn now before we turn right at the lights when it does go clear we've got to check our near side mirror for the kick out of the unit or from the trailer so it's clear there, check the kick out, it's good to go. We make the turn, look into the driving future where we're going to. And as you can see, we've got a bit of traffic. And then we'll hold a nice, maintain a nice safe margin between us and the car in front. Again, enabling me to look up the road ahead and plan where there's a bit of a pinch point with park cars. These off to the right. I'm just on the crown of the road at the moment and I'll probably just ride onto the crown slightly but the oncoming vehicles have got plenty of room there to move over a little bit. We're not forcing them to move over, they're just seeing our position and they'll just naturally do that. Check both mirrors as we come through the pinch point and we're clear. Monitor the speed, we're only just above 20-25 well, miles an hour, we can speed up a little bit. 
and you can see red light coming on the back of that front car and in the distance it's quite heavy traffic so nobody's at the crossing we have cleared the crossing we cleared that move to the crown stay on the crown car coming out from the right the red car just be mindful of that in case it makes a late maneuver and from the left we've got coming in there now as well so check both mirrors to make sure nobody has pulled out and there's another one backing off another one pulling out the lights are on green no pedestrians there so hopefully they will stay and predictably stay green as we come over to the bridge go to the crown get your improve your vision around the bend which we're doing and then here mirror i'm going to give a signal just to the car behind as well as in front there i've got enough room and we can come through without affecting anyone check the mirrors to make sure we've come through cleanly at the roundabout we're going to take the first exit Erdington Ward End A4040 smooth on the brakes nobody's at the crossing roundabout's a little bit busy we've got some traffic coming in from the left nice and smooth don't get stopping on the crossing he's clearing now look for the gap in the traffic there it is the blockers are in and we're into the roundabout on lane one around for lane discipline use the gravel on the left as a target to help yourself keep in lane as you come off we're going to go third exit next roundabout so mirror signal and when safe to do so we're going to maneuver to lane two now unfortunately the Peugeot's just pulled out and took our gap but that's not a problem we've still got a bit of space till we need to move over so there it is the Peugeot's through we're into position they're all braking so nice and smooth on the brakes cancel the signal because that was just a lane change now we're going to give a signal for the roundabout telling people we're going right third exit Recovery trucks through and we're into the roundabout. We're mindful now of anybody on our outside. So as we take the roundabout, both mirrors, position mirror on the right, danger mirror on the left, he's off. Into centre lane, there's a car trying to come round, but as you can see, it goes into a bus lane. Traffic has to merge over, so he's gonna to have to try and merge over. Green light, and as I said, still heavy traffic up ahead. We've got a nice gap though, good three or four second gap between us and them. And again, it gives me time to look at what's happening. The black car coming in from the right. I am a truck, so I'm going to have to manoeuvre back to near side line. There's no other park vehicles. The lights are on red, so off the gas. No point rushing up to a red light. Steve's off it. Keep the pace going. We'd like to try and arrive on a green, but I think we're going to get uh, end up having to stop at this set of lights. Check the mirrors. Nice and smooth. TT on the VW, tyres to tarmac. I can see his tyres touching the tarmac from my driving position. Heart brake in position one. Hold on the brake. My foot now is towards the throttle. Because when I get a green light and the move, all I've got to do is press the throttle, feel the bite point, release the handbrake. Here we go. Near side, front right. Blind spot, load, release the part brake, away we go. moderate the speed keep the three second gap no matter what speed you're doing as long as you keep three seconds behind the vehicle in front that should give you sufficient time to see and to act okay the lights at the pedestrian there is one there very i don't like the shutters on the lights you can't see the bottom light but they stay green check the near side check this car off on the left the forward coming in from the left i think it was a forward and then back up to speed 30 miles per hour on this road so we're proceeding down towards the Bromford from Garrett's Green, Stetchford area. And as we come around the corner, we'll check our speed. We're at about 27, 28 miles per hour. It's a 30 mile an hour road. Lights are on green in the distance. That's stale green. So off the throttle, check the mirrors, cover the brake. If them lights change now, my foot's ready on the brake to be able to stop without sending anybody through a windscreen, which is what you want to be. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Okay, they've stayed green. The pedestrians are green, so we'll just go back to the throttle, but mind the speed, because it's Gatso camera. Cutting your view right ahead to the cars coming in at the top on the left-hand side, and braking lights now on the vehicles right up the front, which show you that they're slowing for some reason. So as we come down here, check the mirrors and there's a vehicle backing out into the main road so there's nothing I can do about that. I'm going to slow it down. 
it's given me, luckily because obviously I've locked that time and distance, I've got time to react to that kind of manoeuvre and deal with it without too many problems. At the lights again, red lights, so check the mirrors, smooth on the brakes. We're gonna go left into Drew's Lane. Now, the reason I'm taking the left into Drew's Lane is because I get heavily used uh, roofs for the test out of Garrett's Green. And what I wanna point out on this lane is the speed limit. Currently, the speed limit is 30 miles per hour. If he turns you into Drew's Lane down by the Bromford, If you look ahead, you will see 20 mile an hour speed limits either side of the road. So from a 30 into Drew's Lane, 20 miles an hour. Anywhere near Ward End, look out, there's lots of 20 mile an hour signs or 20 mile an hour speed limits. So make sure that you're looking. Okay, check, check, blind spot. Away we go. Giving way there, making sure. Now this is all 20 miles an hour. Be careful to monitor your speed. Don't think, I've seen the sign and then forget it is 20. So I'm monitoring my speed just below 20 now. As I come through here, I'm just gonna to move to the crown of the road because I'll probably be one of only, maybe one or two vehicles actually do 20 down this road. So I'll be mindful that somebody might get impatient and overtake, so I'm monitoring the mirrors. So again, crown of the road. Crown of the road. Person coming in from the left with the BMW. I'm gonna go slightly wider, I've checked my mirrors. I moved out because of opening the door and then as I pass them, I check them as a follow through mirror check to make sure they've shut the door and they're safe. Crossing is clear. Again, just follow the road ahead, crown of the road, behind the learner. I'm doing 20, I think they're a little bit low, lower than 20 because we seem to be gaining. So again, I'm gonna try and manage my third, three second gap rule. So I've eased off a little bit. Okay, we're going to, again here, we've got parked cars on the corner, so I'm, I'm trying to say, here we go for the overtakers at 20. There's one, look. That ain't no 20 mile an hour, and it's an Audi. Person on the near side, again, he's vulnerable, so we're going to check him off in the mirror. Oh, it was his van door, passed, we've passed the vehicle anyway. We're going to go right at the lights. This is the other end of Drew's Lane at Ward End Park. Again, you have to be very careful around Ward End because all of this round here, this is a 30 as we go in now, it's telling us we're going into a 30, but if you turn left and go towards Ward End, that becomes a 20, so be careful of that one. Now, again, as we turn our right, we've checked our near side mirror for kick out of the vehicle against any other vehicle that's turning. We manoeuvre directly to the crown of the road, and we're gonna keep the speed down a little bit because there's lots of people coming out from side roads. And again, check the mirrors, looking up ahead. It's flowing not too badly. This is a zebra crossing. Um, nobody's at the crossing at the moment. Speed limit is 30, I'm doing about 25, so I'll pick it up a little bit now. So we're taking the nearer to the speed limit now, where it's safe to do so. And we come up to where the church steeple is, and usually out of Garrett's Green, that'll take you right at the next set of traffic lights. I've checked the pedestrian lights out and they are green and nobody's pressing the buttons, nobody's there. Off the gas a little bit, let these out. And then check them all off on the mirrors, make sure that they are clear. The lights stay green and we're gonna turn right at the traffic lights. So mirrors, signal, the signal at the moment is the bright lights. And as I approach, mirrors again, signal right. Read the road markings, look for your lane. And I want tyres to tarmac off that Ford. I'm gonna leave the Audi that bit of space to manoeuvre. There we go, check, check, blind spots, pull through. We've got a filter right, so at the moment, if it stays green, we can filter off to the right. So off the gas, just in case it changes, it stayed green, we've got the filter. Near side mirror check for kick out of the vehicle. And then look into where we're driving. We've cleared both mirrors. Everything's looking good. We're right in the middle of the line and we're gonna now again move to the crown. 
again we're just going to let the vehicle pull itself down no need for too much gas the speed limit here is 30 miles per hour so i'm just checking the speed limit off on the speedometer looking at the road ahead you can see go over the bridge and there's some warning or sorry some road signs for warning for roadworks again check the mirrors as we drop down check your speed that'll just bring us up the hill the hill will kill some of that speed off anyway and men at work lane one close well lane one merges over moves over so we're going to turn right it's the roundabout we're looking for signs for the m6 the examiner at this point will probably turn around and say independent drive please follow the signs for the m6 so we're going to pick them up shortly again ford fiesta we want to go tires to tarmac the inside one blind spot excuse me okay we check we check we're out into the roundabout on the inside check the position don't stare at any mirrors scan the mirrors don't stare because if you stare you'll get drawn towards whichever mirror you're looking in and you'll lose whatever else is happening on the other side of the vehicle so scan the mirrors and at the same time as you're scanning the mirrors scan what's happening in front try not to stare okay independent driving please follow the signs for the m6 we're coming down this road and as you can see we're picking up the sign there for the motorway and there's a slip road to the left check the mirrors don't indicate too soon because of that turning there but now we can mirrors signal maneuver to the left turn And that is Costco in front, and you've got Star City. The crossing is clear. We'll stay lane one, following the road ahead as a truck. We must remain in the left lane. And we've got Star City to our right, just to let you know where we are. Now, at the roundabout, lane one, do not drive in the cycle lane. Use your mirrors so that you know where your vehicle is in the roadway. Go wide, follow a wide around the roundabout to allow these vehicles to have their space to come around. Crossing is clear, green light. Now, as we come off Star City, the best thing to do here is move to lane two. So we check our mirrors. We're gonna signal, move to lane two. Now, the reason I've done this is on the Garrett's Green test route, or routes. If they do this, they're normally gonna tell you to follow now, to follow the signs for the M6 stale green light up ahead off the gas and I've moved to lane two because here if you look at the road markings we are now already in the correct lane for the lights which is the center lane we're going to the right which is towards the M6 the lights have stayed green you notice there's four lanes now we want the third lane behind the blue car so mirrors smooth brings us directly into the correct lane for the maneuver now they've the examiner has changed his mind now. They always change their mind round about here. And they will ask you to follow the signs on your independent drive for Litchfield A38. The sign for Litchfield A38, just across the lights there, you can see just underneath the motorway sign. And they want you to join and follow the A38. We're in the correct lane for the manoeuvre. The two lanes on the right are going right, two lanes on the left are going left. This is lane one of the two right-hand turn lanes. So in other words, we're in the left lane where the truck should be. Bringing the position of the brake to position one. That is now holding, but ready to release. My foot's on the throttle, ready to go. Near side, front, right, blind spot. And away we go. We've just gone through, there's the green. We're over the line and we're just through, so that's fine. And as we come round, we can see we cannot go over to the left. It's a bus lane. And we've got signs on the road there saying merging traffic or traffic merges. The red car to my right, I'll let him come through, let him get ahead of me. That I can slot in behind him there. And there's a kid on a bike, so we've got to be mindful of them there as well. They're crossing away from us. Now, A38 is the road we're following. Now, as we come to this roundabout, it's important that you remain in the correct line. So mirrors, signal, look at the road surface. Don't go into Slade Road, A38 is what you want. Okay, so we cut the, grid, the red light there last minute. So looking here, we're gonna follow the center line going in over to the A38, and that's what we wanna do. 
don't go all the way into the inside of the roundabout, whatever you do. Again, brakes up position one, waiting for the lights to change, checking to make sure there's no motorcyclists or anything small on that inside. Here we go, near side front right blind spot and watch the position that I take. Be mindful of car drivers that sometimes will actually encroach in your lane. This is the correct manoeuvre and position for the truck. A38 in lane one, not lane two. Follow the vehicle, follow the lane and keep the vehicle in its lane all the way round. A38, keep the signal going. A38. Now we can give a break off signal. As you exit this roundabout, you do have to be careful. Blue sign there for a bus lane. So check your right hand mirrors, signal right, and if it's safe to do so, which it is, we're going to manoeuvre out away from the bus lane. Check the mirrors again, back on the throttle, away we go. Now he's asking you to follow independent driving. Please follow the A38. We've got round that roundabout, we've used perfect good lane discipline, dis discipline even, and we're going to now remain on the A38. Speed limit now is 40 miles an hour, so I'll give a bit more power on. We don't want to get dawdling, we don't want to be dawdling too much. As you can see, there's a set of lights, pedestrian lights up ahead. Hard to see the left side, so I'm going to slow down in case there's anybody standing there. It is clear, it stayed green, okay, that's fine. Back on the gas a little bit. Again, up ahead, you can see red lights up ahead at the traffic lights. So again, off the gas, no point rushing there and having to stop. So I've checked the mirrors. Easy back off the throttle. We'd like it to go green by the time we get there. There we go. Check the mirrors again before we go back to throttle and away we go on a fresh green light. So we should be good for that. Nothing coming out or into the garage. Nothing, but there's live lights on the car on the left and the van. So we'll be mindful of those. We've checked the right mirror. There he goes. He's coming out, but he has seen us. He has thought about it. So as we pass him, Check him on the near side mirror, make sure he hasn't moved. Check your right mirror for who's on the over the take in as well. And again, nobody at the lights, stay into the crown slightly to improve my vision around that left hand bend. White van on the outside, he's just sitting on the back axle. And again, up ahead, there's bright lights twitching on the car, so maybe around the corner, it's a sharp bend there on the right hand side. Slow on the road surface. So it's on green now, but that's been on green since we approached. So I've got to treat that with a bit of caution. Check the mirrors. It may change. So I'm just covering the brakes. I'm not actually braking at the moment, just getting ready. Okay, point of no return. Check the mirrors. And out we go through the green light. Trying to maintain progress with the flow of traffic without actually exceeding the speed limit. Brake lights are on. So again, check the mirrors. Smooth on the brakes. Ignore the green tarmac, it doesn't mean anything. It's not a bus lane, a bus lane has a solid white line as you can see from these, these are broken. So we can ignore the green tarmac. Okay, good, the light's not long changed to green so they should stay green. We check the mirrors as we come through. Now, remember, he's asked you to follow A38. You can see from the sign on the left, this is the A38. The problem with the A38 does a funny thing up ahead. So. What I, would, what I would normally say to people is remember that all on the right hand side, if you're on this part of a route, it's all car manufacturers. We've had Mercedes, we've got Skoda, Mercedes, Skoda, uh, Kazoo, Land Rover. So up ahead, I'll show you the signs, but I am going to manoeuvre the truck ready for the, for the actual uh, manoeuvre. I'm going to position the truck ready for the manoeuvre. Stale green light, check the mirrors. There she goes, nice and smooth on the brakes. Don't put the examiner through the windscreen, nice and smooth. He wants to be asleep by the time you finish with him. Nice and smooth. That's it, part braking position one and hold. If you look down the right hand side, it's Kazoo, Land Rover. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is act as a bit of a memory jogger. Check, check, blind spot check, away we go. Once we're under the move, what I'm gonna do in a minute is I'm gonna maneuver ready for the next part of the drive. So. The reason that them cars is for what I'm about to do now. So check the mirrors, check that man off. I'm going to mirror, signal to move to lane two. I'm not going to manoeuvre until the vehicles give way to me, which the black VW is just backing off now. 
and he's safe distance now so I'm going to manoeuvre over and the reason I've done that is because here on the A38 it does a funny thing if you look at the green side ahead, sign ahead it's telling you the A38 the thick white line is kicking off to the right so it's you have to be in this centre line where we are now remember you're a truck can't be in the right hand line well we prefer not to be with the centre line and if you look at the green sign again you can see that this line does force its way around to the right it ends and goes round to the right. If you are, if you do make the mistake on independent drive or any part of the drive on the test and you're in the wrong lane for the manoeuvre, do not force your way over or make any late changes. Stay in the lane you're in and continue the way you're going. He cannot, should not fail you for going the wrong way. That's known as a navigational error. But if I go from that line to this line, or what this DPD van's doing now, if I was to do that on a test, that's a driving error, that's a fail. So you've got to make sure that if you do make the mistake of going into the wrong lane, stay in the lane you're in, and go the way the lane takes you. Don't panic. Okay, we're in the correct lane now, we're into lane one. Vehicles are overtaking us. You can see there's a bit of build up on that right, so you're gonna get people cutting back across. Check the mirrors, back up to speed. Now, we're still on the A38, and the examiner now probably changed their mind, because you're not going to go out too far on the A38. So his next part of his test will be, I would now like you, I'm just going to check that lady off on the left, in the near side mirror. They will, the examiner will say to you, we've got another two here, so they may have pressed it, so off the gas, emergency, just in case they decide to try that again, it's still green. Check them on the near side mirror, make sure they haven't stepped out. Covering the brakes for this lights as well, checking the mirrors against. Green stayed, positioned, that's it, and we're through the green light. The examiner's gonna say, please follow the sign for Birmingham Airport. So at the moment, we're at the back of the uh, Jaguar plant. We're on the A38. Nobody at the next set of lights, we keep the gas going. They ain't gonna change. I'm gonna move to lane two, and I'll show you why in a second. So mirrors, signal, and when it's safe to do so, maneuver. It's told you to follow the signs for Birmingham Airport, and as you can see on the green sign up ahead, Birmingham Airport is the fourth exit at the roundabout. Traffic coming in from the left, ease away, plenty of room. And we're going right at the roundabout, third exit. Mirrors, look at the road surface, that tells us where we want to be. Nice and smooth. Now here, don't block the crossing. Stop and leave the crossing open. Wait till there's sufficient space in front of the vehicle before taking it across to the roundabout. Park brake position one and hold. Near side front right blind spot, just enough room now to clear the crossing with the vehicle and still remain, well it would have been, fortunately the Ford's decided that he likes my space as well. So try not to get too close to the Ford. TT, ties to tarmac. Trickle in. and hold on the brakes. Check the near side. Okay, there's our gap, and we're out into the roundabout. Now, lane discipline, into the roundabout, follow your lane, follow your lane. Use your mirrors as well to help keep the vehicle in its lane. Look at your exits. And as you can see, that's a filter coming in from the left, so we can't cross into that yet. But what we'll do is come off center, and now we're gonna mirror, signal. I'm gonna signal because there's a car down the inside. So I wanna let him know that I do want that space. And we're maneuvering back to left lane as a truck should do. And we're going towards Spitfire roundabout now. Nice and smooth on the brakes. TT on the Peugeot. Tires to tarmac. Park brake position one and hold. From near side front right blind spot. And we're coming towards Spitfire roundabout on the 452. And we've got a fresh uh, fresh red light up ahead so check the mirrors off the gas no point rushing up there the pedestrian lights are clear green nobody there we're going to have enough room to get across those but I'd like to try and get a roll into the traffic lights if possible there we go and 
not possible. So, TT, part brake, hold. Near side, front right, blind spots, away we go. As we come round, follow our lane. Again, it's all nicely marked for us. Again, trying to peer around to look at where I'm going to be driving into in the next few seconds. Should be looking about 15 to 20 seconds ahead if possible. Crossing is clear. And here, he's going to ask you to follow the third exit at the roundabout. So we need to manoeuvre to line two. So I've checked my mirrors, I've signalled, and I'm going to take that gap there without affecting the following traffic. Now, we want to pick up the B4147. Funny thing on the, the this roundabout is the examiners allow us to use the centre lane, even though you'll notice that the, the lane markings for the 4147 is actually lane three. However, the examiners allow us to do this, so we'll follow what they say. We're coming across, um, obviously we're in the 452 currently. We want the 4147, which is that lane there, but as you go into the roundabout, these lines merge. So being careful of who's around and what's going on, we just threw on the lights just about and we need to centre line 4147. I'm not going to push that one. I thought we might catch the second set, so that's fine. Now, if you notice, as I come into the roundabout, we came into the roundabout, into the centre, which now becomes the 4147. The road, the lane to the right is also the 4147, but it's the outside lane. A truck should be on the left lane or on the near side lane when available. So that's why we've done that part of the manoeuvre. Now, when we get a green light, we're going to go around the roundabout and merge to the, well, go over to the left of the roundabout, up against the left kerb. So near side from right, blind spot, driving across. Be mindful of vehicles both sides. Some are going off on the 452 there. Some are coming round. So here, we're just going to go over. 4147, off the gas. Smooth, checking the mirrors, smooth on the brakes. We're now in the correct lane for the manoeuvre. 4147. And TT on the Vauxhall, park brake on, in position one. Near side, front right, blind spot, away we go. And again, we've got a nice gap built up between us and the red car in front. That gives, enables me to look into the corner and the bends and I can pick up the 40 mile an hour sign, speed limit sign, that's telling us obviously the speed limit. Check the speedometer, I'm at 35 at the moment, just slightly accelerating a little bit more. I'm just under the 40 now. Crown of the road going round to the left, lane merges, and we're going to pick up some road signs there on the left, saying lanes merge towards get together, the la uh, sorry, on the bend and the left in the road. So we go to the crown, two-way traffic ahead. So that all the information is there for you to pick up. If you just open your eyes, read it, make sure you pick up, and it's giving you an idea of what's going to be happening in, in your, you know, your near driving future there. At the roundabout, we're going to go first exit left. So again, I'm on the crown, trying to get a good vision around the left-hand bend. I'm going left, first exit, mirrors, signal, position slightly to the crown, borrowing a little bit of that actual right-hand turn lane, just borrowing a little bit. Okay, we got good, we're in. The reason I did that position was just to make sure I didn't click the kerb. Now he'll ask you to turn right. This is clock garage roundabout, turn right. So mirrors, at signal into the right hand turn lane, put the vehicle completely in its lane, allowing traffic to pass you on the left side. Don't block. Now there's nothing gone coming at the moment. I check the near side mirror. I must check that mirror first, then make the manoeuvre. And again, I'm checking that near side mirror before I manoeuvre to make sure the back of the truck doesn't kick out into anything that's passing on that near side. Here, mirrors. Again, I'm not going to signal because I don't want to misunderstand as a right-hand signal turn. And I'll check the learner vehicle off with the mirrors. That's fine. Down here, again, plenty of room. If he wants to try and come through, he can come through. I've moved over for him. Check him off on the mirrors. And then as we come down on the hill, we're going to go nice and smooth on the brakes. Speed is just about 28 miles an hour and decelerating now. Crown of the road coming in, roundabouts like these, not too hard. You can use the crown as a guide coming in and the gravel and then the centre there. And when, when you actually do come into the roundabout, take it out to the left to that gravel over there, look, 
and then round again. Now tuck it back into the roundabout and then bring it off. And if you need to, if you have to borrow a little bit of the oncoming side, then you have to borrow it. But obviously, you, if there's a car there when you're coming off the roundabout and you need the space, you have to wait. And if that means blocking the roundabout, then you block the roundabout. Okay, crossing's now clear. Away we go again. Crown of the road. Same at this roundabout, following the road ahead. Let's look at the positions coming in. To the crown, coming in. Nice and big roundabout. Well away from that curb, so we're not gonna clip the curb. We're just gonna wait for the Renault, just to make sure he has come off, okay? Check, check, blind spots. In we go. Round to the left, to the gravel on the left, look. Then bring the trailer or the vehicle round. Indicate that, bring it into the roundabout, then bring it off a little bit. I've over-exaggerated slightly there, but you'll get the idea. And then out on the crane. Okay, again, we're going around the left bend, sit to the crown, improve the vision. And nobody's at the lights, so we're clear through the lights. Now we've got priority to us uh, on this way, but it doesn't necessarily mean, as you can see, that the cars give priority to us. So, we are now in position, we're through, and we're gonna check these off in the mirror. That's fine. Again, use the mirrors for position on the road. I can see where I am on the right mirror against the, the, uh, the crown. We can see on the near side mirror where we are from the kerb, so I'm using the mirrors for position. Crossing up ahead, humped, so in other words, we're gonna to have to slow down because it's got a, a big hump on it. Check the mirrors before slowing, and then gently on the brakes. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Up and over. Check the mirrors again before going back to throttle. Now we've got to give way to oncoming traffic, so we're going to pull up a bit closer. It's quite difficult with the sun to see. Mirrors, I am going to let the vehicles behind know I'm going round, just in case they don't know there's an obstruction in front of me. And I've got to go all the way over onto the oncoming side. I cannot affect the oncoming traffic, so I cannot make anybody slow down here. So I've got to be very careful on test routes. Again, wait patiently. There is a cyclist, but here we'll be, we'll be through for him. Check the mirrors, check the blind spots. Away we go. And back into lane. And we haven't affected anybody. Everybody's merrily on the way. Now, at this part of the test route, he'll ask you to take the next turn in on the left. And this is about bullying. He wants to know whether you use the truck as a, as a, as a, a weapon, if you like, to bully people. So, turning left, mirrors, signal left. You'll notice there's cars parked both sides of the road. And this is about who has priority. Now, the vehicle just coming from the roundabout, he's there first, so he has priority. So what I will do is just back it down. Second one's already out as well, so I'm gonna let him come through. It's about not bullying, but make sure you check your mirrors before you move. So check the mirrors, check the blind spots. Now, we're in the hazard, the parked cars. Now, theoretically, we have priority, theoretically. Just be mindful, someone comes off that roundabout towards you, they may come straight wide, straight facing us. So be careful. Check the mirrors. We're going first exit off the roundabout. Position, crown of the road. Left signal. And in we go. And we're coming off. So again, as you come off here, tuck the vehicle tight to the roundabout before you come off. And then you can use a little bit of those hatchet markings if you need to. Otherwise, you'll clip the curb. And then clear the mirrors, and away we go again. So, at the roundabout, we're gonna follow the road ahead. Blind spot checks. Uh, again, monitor your space in front of the vehicle. TT, tires to tarmac, blind spot checked. Nobody's at the crossing, nobody's approaching the crossing. The roundabout is clear, checking the positions and break off signal. Cancel that. And position here is mirrors, signal and manoeuvre out.
Now, looking ahead, you can see the traffic lights up ahead and they are on green there. We'll be on red by the time we get there, so check the mirrors, off the gas, cover the brakes, nice and smooth. There they go, nice and smooth again, into the centre line, we're following the road ahead.